right welcome aboard KTM 790 adventure it's very quiet but if you like that this is a very quiet bike and feels very comfortable initially at least so the seat is very wide and soft and looks like the fairing here is a little bit taller maybe than the Tenere so it's interesting to see how it feels when we ride it on the road later on in this video I'm in off-road mode at the moment let's try the standing up position well, it's okay it's pretty close to the 690 I think but it is a very very low bike so how does the suspension feel in here actually quite nice Wow, the power is immediate. There's a lot of, lot of power in this engine. Yeah, it pulls very hard. But still the traction control is kicking in. I'm in off-road mode, so the traction control is on. And it's not allowing me to drift. So that's probably some setting that you need to change. But I'm not gonna fiddle with it because I have like 20 minutes with this bike. Ah, the front end feels a little twitchy. It doesn't feel as stable as the Tenere 700 hitting rocks and stuff. Could also be the tires as well, so I'm not gonna blame the, blame the bike immediately. The 790, it feels small. Actually feels really, really tiny. Maybe that's part do with the height because it's so low I can put both of my feet down st uh, sitting on this so it's it's a quite a low bike my Tenere is lowered and it's still higher than this one let's see the traction control yeah it's kicking in I did full throttle there and it's still kicking in so it is nerfing me, me from all the fun that I could be having but I don't really care, I don't want to do anything crazy now because I'm, I'm just test riding this bike. I'm just feeling out the suspension, how does it feel? I think it's very nice. It's very compliant, very, very soft actually. Kind of plush, at least on this surface and this speed. My Tenere suspension has always felt a little crashy on those little bumps that I don't really like. But this bike does feel a lot better. So I think the suspension components in this bike are a, bit, a lot better than the Tenere 700. It feels like a quality ride, even here, some bumpy roads. I need to be a little bit careful because there are others using this road as well. I just saw a big pack of motorists because there's an event going. Yeah, this feels very comfortable and capable, actually. Uh, I still have ABS in off-road mode in the front, but in the actually in the back as well. That's interesting. So the off-road mode does not disable the ABS completely from either end, but I still managed to stop, so maybe it's working okay. Yeah, but the traction control is... Uh, it kills all the fun. Yeah, and the bike doesn't sound very nice. It sounds weird. Yeah, I would probably at least change the exhaust if I were to buy this bike. Let's see how it goes here. Wow, even in off-road mode it's crazy fast. Okay, now I'm in street mode. Let's tr let's try it out. Yeah, it's fast, but that's no surprise. But it doesn't feel crazy fast. Yeah, it, 
doesn't feel all like like it's gonna rip my head off but it's fast enough the, the plexiglass here is working pretty well it is directly air directly to my helmet through this hole here but it's not buffeting so the air is not doing to my helmet like this so it's pretty stable air I would still probably change this to something else I don't I don't know if I like the fact that it's pulling air directly to my face from that hole here so doing this touring stuff I would maybe change the plastic here to something else <laughs> interesting I'm blinking right and it looks like I have hazards on on the dashboard but I don't so in the dashboard it doesn't know which way I'm blinking that's kind of weird there's not much clutch feel actually the biting point is hard to find but the clutch pull is very light I can even pull the clutch with one finger let me show you like this one finger no problem it's that light yeah I don't think it feels much more different than my Tenere even though I think on paper this bike has more power it doesn't feel violent and it can be maybe it could be that uh, traction control is kicking in even here but I don't think so I, I didn't feel it actually but you can probably hear the wind now that I'm driving here a hundred because the wind is definitely hitting my helmet it is smoother than the Tenere 700 stock fairing here but uh, I don't know I would still probably take the Tenere plastic instead of this or I would plug that hole with tape maybe it's better like that oh but it does pull even on sixth gear and doing a hundred there's still a lot of power there but look if I blink right <laughs> it looks like I'm I have hazards on so that's a weird decision on KTM's part gearbox is very smooth very nice to use yeah very smooth very nice my Tenere going down on the gears it's always a little notchy but not in this one feels very very smooth like buttery smooth just my, like my Honda CRF 300 the gear changes are very nice But this does sound like a lawnmower, like an electric lawnmower. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If you like a quiet bike, this is a quiet bike, definitely. This is probably more quiet than my CRF 300 stock. <laughs> this just hums about. I wouldn't really put this in the same category than the Tenere 700, for example. But. As a street bike, this is probably better, more comfortable. If you want to cruise long distances, this is a very nice bike. And if you're not very tall, this is an easy bike because you can definitely very easily reach the ground with this one. I was actually really close to not even posting this episode because I think this test ride was too short and the TC killed all the fun because it was enabled even though the salesperson said that he took it off but it was still on so this is one of these bikes that I want to definitely retest at some point because I think it has a lot of potential to even be my next bike it has a lot of power the feeling of the suspension and the engine was really big plus on this bike and uh, definitely it left me wondering if I get a chance next year to ride this properly I will definitely redo this test and and even maybe buy this bike who knows <laughs>